Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for those who do not know, MIC is having a one-year anniversary event where Bao is going to be trading live in front of our members. It's coming up August 17th. Mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% and exclusively free for annual and lifetime members. While lifetime, on top of that, get extra coaching before the event and guaranteed front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it, again, free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up for this event, DM TBradley90 in MIC Slack chat and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now, today we have a very special video for you guys as Joe Kelly, one of our head moderators in MIC Slack chat, puts together his Trading Basics weekly Sunday video series, and this is episode 30, in which case he recaps his biggest loss in six months on ticker symbol Soli, S-O-L-Y. And while this is just a preview of the full-length video, if you want to watch the full-length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. Good evening, everyone. I want to do a quick recap here. I want to show you <laughs> my worst trade in probably the last uh, probably the last six months, actually. And I feel like it's necessary to recap this because it didn't actually happen in June, um, <clears throat> but it was right at the end of May, which kind of just like snowballed into June, which just set the pace for next month for me. So this was SOLY. I shorted SOLY on the gap down day here. And this again is, you know, this is bread and butter. This is what I look for. So right here, that day, with all those little marks, <laughs> that's the day I shorted. Okay. Now I want to explain this. This is how I often do my recaps. I will I will print this, something very similar to this from Trader View, and I will write notes on the paper about the things that went through my mind, the things that happened during the trade, um, so on and so forth. So the trade plan going into the day was to scale this short based on this risk level right here. Okay, This was the previous closing price, which is roughly uh, 20, 40, three or 40 something, I forget what it was, but right around 2050. <clears throat> and I started short here in the morning and I quickly added, uh, I'm sorry, I'm telling you wrong. I'm telling you wrong. Here's my uh, executions, okay, right here. So I started short 8, 1770. Again, these, these, are all based on that 2050 level. So this is only uh, one fifth of that overall size, like I talk about, okay? In these two executions right here at 1770 and 1824, okay? I ended up with a 1793 average or right around 18, okay? Now that 18 level ended up acting as resistance uh, on the tape and then we, uh, or I'm sorry, not acted as resistance. <clears throat> it acted as resistance on the bounce, but not before we got a wash all the way down to 17, the exact whole dollar there. Now, one thing I want you to pay close attention to is over here. This is your running PL. Okay, I find this a very, very useful graph, even more useful than the chart itself, okay? This, you know, this can tell you a lot, but also this right here tells you I shorted. This is how much it went against me before it went back in my favor. And then it goes all the way in my favor to this point here before it slightly returns and goes against me again and then gives me a second opportunity to take a profit before it rips my face off. 
Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at Tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.